Hello everyone, Yodi here. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, it is Mother's Day weekend and I was only been able to get out for a little bit, a little small hour break in the morning here that I'm taking. And I thought I would take you along with me uh, down to a park that's near where I live. And now uh, this park is not really a developed park and it's got a bit of a history which I'll explain in a minute. But it's, uh, it's actually a pretty beautiful park. You can see the creek behind me, which, if time permits, I'll jump into. Um, and yeah, I just thought we'd go for a quick walkabout. I'll show you this park. I'm actually hoping to do a bit of a video project with this park uh, on this channel. And I think this will be the one that kicks it off. I don't know if you can hear that, but my Canadian geese flying over. And I am uh, we are downtown. Uh, but the reason, let me turn this around so you can kind of see what I'm seeing as far as the park uh, and where we're at. <clears throat> this is the switchyard. And right over here to the right is a running jogging trail that goes for miles uh, down south. But uh, this is about, I believe it's around 65 to 70 acres. And they call it the switchyard because that is exactly what this was for about a hundred years. Uh, the switchyard was the main railway. Let me check my notes here, right? Yeah, 1892 to 2000, this was an active switchyard. And the um, trains, the rail, main rail ran this way. And I believe this one path here is an old rail line but as you can see in the past 17 years things have grown up a bit now what's kind of cool about this and we'll get in we'll show you more of this and why I want to do a project on this with a series of videos is that the city bought this property and they will be turning it into a full-blown park extravaganza with manicured grass and lawns and arenas and amphitheaters, maybe not an arena, amphitheaters and places for people to be, much like a normal city park, not as wild and woolly as this park looks now. I like this park now. <laughs> Let me just get this straight. I like this park now. I like the wild and woolly. Uh, the downside is, unfortunately, there's some... Uh, camera. Here we go. There are, uh, unfortunately there are some problems with um, migrants and vagrants, homeless people, uh, and they've come back here and they, they hang out back here and the police have to patrol here pretty regularly. Heck, we might even run into one this morning, who knows. And now that the weather's nicer, it's a bit more of a problem. I was down here a lot in the winter. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was down here a lot more in the winter, and uh, it was gorgeous then, too. And there were a lot of remains of homeless camps back here. And there's been a few uh, attacks back here and problems. So, honestly, this is probably one of the more dangerous areas I've been in. <laughs> I do not consider the woods dangerous. Uh, so I'm always on my toes a little bit when I'm down through here. Uh, but seriously, it's nothing that I am too worried about. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. But uh, the bird song back here, the grass smell, like the sweet grass, almost like a vanilla smell, is amazing. And it's always so peaceful here. During the winter, and when I didn't have a reliable car, this was my getaway spot. Little yellow finch there bopping off. And yes, I'm gonna brave the chiggers and the ticks and we're gonna go off trail a little bit. Hey. You guys catch that? There are, of course, rabbits. Uh, I've not seen a lot of squirrels. There's a red-tailed hawk that hangs out down here. Blue herons, uh, Canadian geese, uh, coyotes. That's about it. Plus uh, uh, raccoons, of course. Other small critters like that. Not seen a lot of chipmunks back here. 
If you hear voices, that's people on the running trail. This is uh, basically a common mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N, mullein, mullein, mullein plant. Very soft to the touch, almost like, just velvety almost. And um, this is used for native tobacco, these leaves. And the stalks, I'll show you a dried stalk. And there's almost like a forest of these down the trail where they just come up everywhere. But um, also this is like, it's an excellent source of water. Hmm. You know, you can use a rag or something and wipe these. You could do this with any of these plants, of course. And you wipe, you wipe your cloth on all this and you get the water off of it and then you wring it out. But this plant seems to hold a little bit more dew than everybody else. So... There's a few other uses from this plant. I honestly can't remember them right now. Um, but yeah, I just want to show that. Here's a stalk over here. These things grow about six feet high, seven feet high. This would probably make an excellent source of tinder if it was dry, get it good and crisp. And I've not tried it, but I believe these stalks can be used for a hand drill fire. That's something to try in the future, huh? And every now and then you find stuff like this laying around to remind you that this was an old rail yard. I have no idea what this is. Well, it's a big piece of metal. <laughs> All bent up. Maybe it's supposed to be that way, but... You usually don't find those unless you get off the trail, of course spot a little bit on edge I've seen people camping back here before and I just don't want to surprise anybody well it looks like somebody's cleaned it up it was really trashed but back in that little hollow back here I can't see what you can evidence of a fire Nobody's back here. A couple months ago, there was a... You can still see where the tie-up was, but there was a little bit of a camp back here. Not now. I think they're working pretty actively to keep this place clean. A little bicycle helmet back there. Should we get it? I think I'm going to leave it. You get further kind of off trail, you find more stuff like this back here, unfortunately. But this tends to be the camping spot. And to be honest, concrete tube with tarp on either ends, that would not necessarily be a bad structure, especially if you take that and you put a fire right here. Right, right out here. Put a shield to kind of throw heat back this way. Cover this end. Get yourself a little, nice little spot. So here's a much larger mullen plant, as you can see from the scale of my hand much older plant. Stockle. Down in there. Little bugger boo. Oh, it's a little spider. Can you see that? Probably not. Can't see in my camera lens very well, so hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, these get pretty big. I say every time I come back into this park, I'm always amazed at how peaceful it is. Given the fact we're downtown, well, we're south of downtown.
and uh, it helps that it's a Sunday morning. But we're on an old, this is paved. You can see the asphalt down there. Right, I'm going to take this deer trail right here. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but there are deer back here. I've seen up to five or six at a time. Not for certain when the railway actually stopped being used. I know that it was officially stopped in 2000, but I think this was kind of deserted in the late 90s. Regardless, you know, you have about a hundred years of active civilized use as a rail yard, and it's kind of hard to imagine that this had was all cleared out and it had rail tracks going through it, boxcars, men unloading, switching out cars as these different rails came into this area to transport goods both north and south and how the rails would split off from this point into different directions all across the southern part of the state. But uh, this is what it's turned into in a pretty short amount of time. And I wanted to document this wildness, you know, this sense of nature coming back even on top of pavement and an old rail yard. Now, I don't know when construction will start on the actual park. As we know, when the wheels of change and progress begin, they can move kind of fast. I know they've started part of the project. I think it's a sewer line already on the east side of the park. I'll show you that. Actually, when I saw the construction there, I wanted to, that's what kind of kicked me in gear to do this project of just documenting this park and what it's like now. Because it's pretty gorgeous right now. Very peaceful back here. Getting back up here closer to the creek. This is always fun. Do we dare cross? <laughs> I got silk from spiders all over my face. Fairly recent camp. Another camp back there I can see. In the woods. So where I am now is what I think is what was the old uh, wheelhouse where the train tracks or the would all come into a central circular spot and then cars could be switched out. Turn it around so you guys can see. It's definitely not a wheelhouse anymore. So as you can see, it is no longer a wheelhouse. It is just a big old field of gravel and flowers. And crows. <laughs> but 
we go up here, you can see the remains, what, what remains of the wheelhouse. It's so wet right now with dew. All right, so right here, just a big old paved concrete donut on the ground. left but this would have been the central area where let's go this way it's been the central area where cars were brought in switched out would have been a very busy section <laughs> not so busy now Kind of wish they would have left the old structures up, right? That'd have been cool. But you would have had people living in them and all sorts of other stuff going on in there that's not cool. So they uh, they took all that down for a reason. Here's the actual running trail going north. We're gonna go over there, but I'm gonna follow this. I want to get up here so you guys can at least see that some of this is civilized. And basically, the whole park will kind of is built around this rail trail that they have called the B-Line. And this was once a railroad track as well. We are not going to stay civilized. We're diverting. <laughs> Wrap this video up. I'm going to take you down here and let you guys see some of the initial construction and digging they've done. I've not been down here in a couple weeks, so we'll see what we see. So we're getting up here to where the initial stages of the project has started. And I'll turn it around here so you can kind of see we'll do, yeah, not much to see really, but we'll give it a look. I think that was a bluebird. I don't know if the camera caught that or not. Anyway, you can see these trees have been pushed over, cut down, a lot of sycamores. A few pines up here have been knocked over. Um, but that's, you know, I'm not sure how fast they're wanting to move on this. <laughs> All I see is the trees down. They've been down for a couple weeks. I'm sure the new park will be absolutely gorgeous. It'd be really nice to be at and a place for a lot of people to come and get their first taste of nature. So it's really cool. Like I said, I just want to document, oh, get up here a little bit, you know, document what was and what is. can see more way back over here all the all the trees down like I said I think this is a sewer project I think they're just clearing the way and who knows how long that will take oh. we'll go over here real quick it's a cool little walkway bridge I think we'll become an actual entryway into the park from this side of town but right now this is just an old wood planked with concrete underneath. I did say we were going to do some creek walking. We're not going to be able to get to that. I'll save that for another video. And having better shoes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's kind of a nice introduction to the switchyard. Uh, more videos to come. I'm sorry we didn't get in the creek. We'll try and do that uh, next video or two. 
And I'll be making more of these as I document kind of the changes going on in the park and things I find on my little walks. This is kind of my go-to spot if I don't have time to get into the, the bigger woods. So I hope you enjoyed this and more to come. Don't forget to hit uh, like or subscribe. It helps the channel. Got to throw that in there. That's the blurb, right? YouTubers have got to put that blurb in there. So, yeah, I've got to uh, hurry back. Hope you've enjoyed this. I've got to make breakfast as it is Mother's Day. So, from the woods to the kitchen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You're amazing. And we wouldn't be here if you didn't do what you do. Take care, everybody. Get outside if you can. It's good for you.